I'm gonna try to explain what a symlink is and why I think it's useful and why I start using it. So a symlink is short for a um, was it symbolic link? Um, it's kind of like a shortcut, but not really. Uh, if you ever use Windows, you know what a shortcut is. Um, w with a symlink, is different because it doesn't point to the absolute path. It's kind of like a virtual path. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So let me give you an example. Well, these are sim links here. You can see like the little arrows. Those are um, you know sim link icons. So those are not actually real folders, just links. But let me show you here. Uh, so how would you create a sim link? It's pretty easy. Just right click on here, and you can go make link. Right. That's one way to do it. Uh, another way is um, you know drag it with your middle click like this and uh, say make link here and you make a link right you can do that for multiples also you know highlight it and drag it do the same thing not a big deal now the difference between a shortcut is that you know when you click on a shortcut I'll give you an example this is the absolute path right it goes to the absolute path this is exactly where it's at uh, if you click on a sim link which is this one it creates like a virtual path so it acts like it's part of the system which is really nice okay so I click on it you see it has the same data but you see that the path it, it doesn't you know use that long one right there it uses a, a virtual one uh, which is says home user and scripts so this is really convenient if you ever do uh, scripts you're not gonna write you know go to media this partition that subfolder that's too fucking long uh, if you go use your home folder and link it there, great, that's quick, you know. And another thing why I use it is, um, you know, if you have like, uh, what's that, different hard drive or partitions, or if you're using like multiple uh, distributions, uh, it's also a good way to, you know, decentralize your data. So, uh, you know, I have uh, videos on different. Uh, external hard drive or music on an external hard drive and if you have like multiple distributions um, you're not gonna make a you know a video folder for each one of them you're just gonna link it to your external hard drive or partition whatever you put it and it decentralized your data so that's good you know so your home folder is only gonna contain um, you know your your application preference it's not gonna, it's not gonna contain your data because your data is gonna be somewhere else and you can still access it like it's part of the system uh, so that's why I like it and um, I think everyone should do that if you have uh, you know a setup where you have different partitions or external hard drives or whatever uh, really convenient because you don't want to keep all your uh, data you know in one partition it's kinda like don't keep all your eggs in one basket because you know if you lose one you, you probably fucked up the whole thing so it depends on your setup, but I would recommend using it. And um, uh, with the sim link, you can't actually edit. Uh, um, you know, after you create the sim link, you can't actually edit where it goes. You have to delete it and make it again if uh, you want to change the sim link. So you can't edit. Uh, another way is uh, if you want to know where it goes to, because they don't show you here. But properties. And it'll tell you the link target where it goes to. See, media and uh, my external and uh, partition uh, and programs here. So that is Symblick, and um, check it out. If you don't know what it is before, now you do. It's different from a shortcut and acts like it's part of the system. Dig that. That's it for this one.